familiar way you know to worship him let him know you are here again let him know that's my daughter that's my son let him hear your voice let him hear you worship him magnify him in the beauty of holiness yes lord yes lord you are our rock our light our salvation our redeemer our rewarder we exalt you exalt him lift him up lift him up he deserves all the praise he deserves all the glory magnify his holy name he is the rock he is the lord the maker of the heaven and the earth the most powerful force on earth and in heaven nothing is above you you are greater than all mighty god magnificent king awesome father ancient of days the rock of ages the higher than the highest the one that is better than the best we magnify your holy name we exalt you lord glory and honor be to your name in jesus mighty name we worship quickly i want us to open our bible to psalm 38 verse 22 psalm 38 verse 22 talking about our theme for the month in this verse it's psalms of david it says make haste to help me O lord my salvation make haste to help me if the lord is our help if the lord is our light if indeed is our salvation. Do we know what salvation means? It means redemption. It means deliverance. It can mean so many things to you. I want us to lift up, lift up our voice this morning and cry to the Lord. Lord, you are my salvation. Please make haste to help me. Do not delay any longer. Hear my voice this morning. Make haste according to your word. Make haste, O oh Lord and deliver me and restore me and rescue me whatever salvation means to you cry to the lord in that regard lord make haste do not delay any longer make haste to deliver me from enemy that is far more powerful than me you are powerful than all make haste oh lord make haste arise for my sake and deliver me from every form of affliction Whatever that may mean to you, Lord, make haste. <coughs> it might be in your career, in your health. Father, make haste. Let it not take long any longer. Please arise for my sake and deliver me today. Make haste, O oh Lord my God. Arise, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Arise for my sake. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I want us to also open our Bible to John first, talking about the light. John chapter 1, verse 4 to, life, uh, to 5 precisely, talking about who Jesus Christ is. The Bible in that book of John tells us that he is the life of man and that, that life is the light of man. Jesus himself is the life and that life is the light of man. And that light shine in darkness, and darkness comprehended it not. NIV says, darkness overcometh it not. I want us to pray in regards to this. Father, let everything representing darkness in my life give way to the light of God this morning. In the name of Jesus. Darkness in health, darkness in marriage, darkness in career, darkness in children in your children, in your ministry, in your walk with God, anything represent, that represents darkness. Let the light of your word shine this morning and chase away every form of darkness in the name of Jesus. Father, chase away everything that represents darkness in me, in my life, in my career, whatever that may mean to you. Cry to the Lord this morning. Let him hear you. We have worshipped him. He is here. He can hear. His hand is not short to save. Cry unto him. Father, 
make haste and deliver me. Anything that represents darkness, chase them away by the light of your word. In the name of Jesus, let your light penetrate. Let your light go to where no man can go to and set me free and do mighty works. In the name of Jesus, Father, let your light shine. Let your light shine. In the name of Jesus, upon my health, let your light shine. Upon my marriage, let your light shine. Upon my career, let your light shine. In the life of my children, Father, let your light shine. Let your light shine. In any form of situation that you are confronted with right now, cry to the Lord. Lord, let the light of your world shine and overtake every form of darkness. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Finally, I want us to open our scripture to Genesis chapter 1, verse 2 to 3 precisely. Here, God himself speaking. And he said, when God was creating the universe, the heart as it is, everything was void and darkness was upon the face of the heart. And God declared... In verse 2, he says, And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw the light, uh, uh, sorry, 2 and 3, actually, from verse 2. From verse 2. And the heart was with, without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And in verse 3, that was the existing situation of the heart. But in verse 3, God declare, let there be light. And darkness could not refuse. There was light. I want us to pray. Whatever that, that may mean to you, light may mean many things to many people. But in general, it means let there be good turn around from my chaos. I want us to pray regarding this this morning. Lord, whatever the way you want to declare light into your situation, I want us to declare because we are children of God as God declared when he saw the, the chaos on the face of the earth. Let's pray and declare, Lord, let there be healing if it's healing you need. Lord, let there be peace if it's peace you need. Lord, let there be calmness. Lord, let there be resolution. Let there be solution. Any form that you want, to, you want it to take, just declare this morning. Make it personal. Don't be generic. Let God know. Let there be deliverance. Let there be life in deadness. Let there be life and hope in hopelessness. In the name of Jesus. Speak to that situation in your life. Let God hear you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I declare, Lord, let there be light in my life. Let there be light. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Father, we thank you because we know you are a prayer answering, Lord. We are grateful because we know you are in our midst because your word says so. Daddy, we appreciate you for all our prayers you've answered in the past. We commit this one into your hand. Father, turn them to testimony. Let them return 